All right, welcome back everyone. This is Where's Boar playing you today, Cluster Truck. I know the name's not on, on the screen, but I swear this is Cluster Truck. So, last time we left off on World 2 Level 1, uh, which took a hell of an ass of a time for me to complete. So today we'll go ahead and jump right into World 2 Level 2. Don't know why, but the music got really loud there. Uh, let me... Fix that. Okay. I, uh... In the settings, there's actually not a way to change the audio, so what I ended up doing was, uh... This is pretty interesting. Uh, but what I ended up doing was just changing the OBS. Uh, that's what I use for my recording. Uh desktop audio so hopefully that that fixes some things okay okay have you guys ever played a game like this where uh where the very first th time you try it you get through right and then e every time after you uh you just can't like it like you know beginner's luck that is Definitely what's happening here. I don't remember what I did last time. I think I just waited for the timing. The issue here is that I think the inertia from the truck moving forward makes it so that uh, I will overshoot. So I am wondering if it's almost worth it for me to jump a bit early and use my air dash. Uh, but yeah, uh, this video... Now, I say this every video, uh, it might not be on the recording because I do ed edit out uh, a lot of my dialogues, but I do believe this video will be a bit shorter, primarily due to the fact that it's only 8 where I am, uh, which also means that I am at work still, technically, allegedly. Uh, but because of when I'm normally off, I had a meeting I set up, so I'm taking a 15-30 minute basically lunch break. I start working at 4. Uh, so, hopefully we can clear a couple of levels. Uh, ah. okay. Let's get a bit more serious. Let's uh, focus here. It's just the timing on that jump, right? Over the fence. Uh. I also heard from uh, somebody that so, okay last video I looked at two abilities and uh, before I picked up the air out before I picked the air dash and I uh said yeah these don't look that good uh, apparently the two that I said weren't good are the better ones to start with. So I am actually giving myself a slight handicap. Uh, I don't know if that's a how true of a statement it is or how much of an impact it is. Uh, since there is a skill-based level component to this game. Uh, but a huge part of it is really just figuring out the pattern and the timing to things. Right? Once I'm able to get the pattern, I should be able to jump across that fence every single time and usually land on a truck uh really just depending on oop man even that far back i over jump it oop. remember kids when in doubt always jump head first into the grill of a car or the uh, underside of a truck uh actually don't do that uh that it was not advice of any form. Uh, huh. Yo! All right, so let's figure out what's what we're doing here. And made it! Bah! All right, first level done. All right, so whoa. Ooh. 
Wham! That was actually pretty easy. Uh, pretty cool though. Looks like there was like an anti uh, gravity uh, thing that was going on there that caused the truck to shoot up. Also, I'm not too sure if you guys saw out. I'm not too sure if you guys saw the uh, the leaderboard just there, but uh, there was a guy named Senpai Pose. Uh, which is a really interesting name. Uh, really not a name that uh, I don't think anyone can truly get comfortable saying in person. Ugh! I have no idea what I was doing, but I was doing re really good. Well, good, fine, well, fine. So, uh, but yeah. What what I'll probably do is, uh, I'll probably do two sorts of trucks back-to-back, -back just because, uh, this and 20XX, uh, out. I've been, uh, 20XX, uh, I've been holding off on, pl out, on playing. Uh, not, not because I don't like the game, uh, it's actually vice versa. Uh, it's just more of the fact that I'm figuring out what games are, are worth it in the, uh, rec to, uh, record based off of the, uh, effort needed to one play it and then two in editing, right? So, uh, and Cluster Truck, luckily, uh, there's a lot of parts that can be cut out because it's just me failing a level a hundred times over. Nah. Ow. Which makes it pretty easy. But I think I'm slowly getting the hang of this level. It's really just while trying to maintain the forward movement of, uh, Of uh, making sure I don't shoot myself into one of the wall posts here, or setting myself uh, ahead of ahead of a vehicle, uh, or in between vehicles, I should say, not so much ahead. So this is actually my first time listening to this uh, soundtrack, and uh, I gotta say, this is actually a really good soundtrack. Uh, I mean, most most game soundtracks are really good. Uh, that's why they're in the game, right? Uh, I'm not too sure if I've ever played a game where I'm like, ooh, this soundtrack is false. If anything, I've played games where the soundtrack was the only good thing about the game. Right? Uh, which, to be fair, if a game has a good soundtrack, it's at least a 4 out of 10 in my book. Games that don't have soundtracks are usually ranked much lower. Primarily because the soundtrack can be the deciding part of the game. Now, some games I I've never heard the soundtrack for. Uh, due to a couple of reasons. One, I'm either playing it uh, while I'm watching YouTube videos, uh, whatnot, or... Uh, or I'm, or I feel like listening to EDM or something else that I want to listen to. Uh, not too sure if there's anyone else like that, but uh, there have been many games I've played in the past where I've never heard the soundtrack before, and I actually go on YouTube and just play the soundtrack. And I gotta say, most of the time, it's really not because the soundtrack is bad. Uh, I usually just don't care for sound effects all that much, especially obnoxious ones, right? Where it's ongoing and it's loud. Uh, and some games gives you the option on actually being able to turn off sound effects, some games don't, so sometimes I just turn off the audio completely. Man. That last board is sort of a bit difficult because it's sort of just dead center.
Ugh. Do you guys see what I mean? It is, it, it's just there. If it was over to the left, I wouldn't have too much of an issue getting through it. Uh, of course, I could always just be patient, but I don't think anyone's here to watch me be patient on this game. Jeez. Keep on getting scalped, and if I'm not getting scalped, I'm getting sandwiched between two trucks, which is usually not the better way to go. But hey, at least this isn't like Dark Souls 2, where they keep the uh, death counter uh, going, right? Uh, that, that at the end, it, it doesn't say, hey, you, it took you 5,822 deaths to clear this level. Obama Prime. <laughs> Hello? Oh, God damn it, where? Get your head in the game. This is a straight path, dude. But what does make it difficult, uh, as you can see, the trees actually causes the truck to shift in and out. So what, what ends up happening is the trucks end up actually wobbling. Uh, and because the truck wobble, it actually makes it a bit difficult to get your bearings. Alright, so what I mean is, you see how the trucks just suddenly moved in? Uh, and usually when you're going at a high speed, uh, and this isn't fixed, it's, uh, I actually learned this many years ago, I think it was Maybe Discovery Channel? Maybe Nat Geo. I don't remember. Actually, probably not Nat Geo, because this is our thing. But basically, uh, when you're going at a fast speed, and then suddenly you get a... Even the slightest tap to your rear end of your vehicle, it's very easy for the vehicle to spin out, right? Uh, which is actually a uh, maneuver. At least here in the U.S. I don't know about other countries too much. But here in the U.S., that's a maneuver... Uh, police officers would do when they're on a high-speed chase uh, as a last resort is to tap the uh, uh, tap the back of the vehicle and if you ever see a clip of it it's usually a very light tap from appearance but because of the speed the inertia and just overall the uh, uh, weight behind the vehicle as it's moving it will actually throw the uh, target vehicle completely off. And that's uh, basically what's occurring there. Alright. We are actually zooming through this. Maybe I... Maybe... <laughs> God damn it. Okay. Uh, maybe I was just really bad at Tier 2 World 1. This is pretty interesting. Looks like I have to jump from this side to the other side. Uh. There's also this weird pit at the front here. Uh. 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 Okay, we start off on a slant. Let's do this. Whoa! Get it! Uh, no! Oh. I don't know why I get greedy sometimes. A part of me is like, you can't make that. I was like, well, bet. Out! <laughs> I gotta say, this is probably one of my best lunch break I've ever had. So, I did really good that first, actually, I don't, I don't think it's the first time, I think it's like the second time, right? Uh, but this goes to what I was saying, is that usually, you know, the first time, or the first couple times, you do really good, and then you just suck ass. Oh, 
Bam! Not too shabby. All right, let's do this. What do you do? What do you do? Hold on. Do you... Do I have to race? To get across the wall... The, uh... Walls there? I think I do. Uh. Do the walls end up opening again? So close. But the thing is, is that I wouldn't have a vehicle to get onto. Hold on. I wonder if I can wait out the walls. Like, I, like, I wonder. This, uh, once it closes, is it permanently closed, right? That's something I don't know because I, kept, I keep on dying right before then. Let's see here. Ow. Okay, I need, I need to be one to go back. It doesn't look like the wall opens. Right? Uh... Jeez. This makes it a bit more difficult then. So I need to be really fast about this. All right. Uh Alright. There's a really weird gap there. Uh, that was bizarre. Like, it's almost like all of the front, like there was like two rows of trucks. That was just gone. Okay, okay, we can do this. I know for a fact we can do this now. Well, I mean, obviously, because there are people that's gotten to a higher world, so... Uh, yeah, no shit that, that we can do this. But... The trucks will keep it open. That means I have to be very precise on where I am. Uh... In order for, for me to make that. And I actually need to be be at the close to the very edge on the other side of the wall. Alright, trust. If you could just not flip out and uh cock block me, that would be nice.
Come on. I told the witch doctor. Yes, right there. Now, what's going to be difficult is I don't have a truck once that happens. Because the trucks blow up, right? And the, actually, the truck blowing up can also kill me because, uh, why the hell not? Nah. But, we're going to have to be really quick. And all I have is the air dash. I don't have the double jump, I think it is. I think that would help uh, quite a bit. I... Yes, sometimes... Uh, sometimes it's just the way the trucks collide with one another. Changes every game, so... The pattern that... That I've been used to... BAM! Ugh. Changes! But... Awesome, guys. I want to keep this video short. One, because I am working. <laughs> but two, also, I feel like I've been doing a lot of longer videos. So I want to do a short video today. But hey, I hope you guys enjoy this. Do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And check out some of my other videos. But I hope you guys have or had a wonderful day. Thank you.